This is why I like coming here, man. I get, you know, get my bike worked on and then I get a few laughs and uh, release some stress. leak on my FXR. Yeah, we're about to go fix that. What are we doing today? Uh, we're gonna take your primary apart, and fix the, uh, the oil leak on the back side here that seems to be covering everything in your bike. Which, oil. which stems from what, basically, on these bikes? Since this is an FXR with a twin cam. Uh, so your inner primary seal here that sits on the front side or outside of your, uh, of your uh, transmission pulley here seems to be what's compromised one way or another. It's just, it could either be a bad seal, a dried seal, whatever the case is, it's, it's leaking from back there. Mike, can, can you just show everybody what you wanted to put on my bike? A, it's a gift. A gift derby cover for you. Here you go. <laughs> I'm not usually an Indian giver, but I'll be this time. <laughs> Mike was nice enough to uh, gift me this new mirror as well, since this one got jammed up when I went down. So yay, new mirror. And we got a new derby cover here since this one all wiped out. It's way too tight. Hey, look, phone's ringing. I, I, li I like you said that when you stuck your fingers in there. You like that? <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> seal up here. That's where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. Found it! <laughs> so missing seal. That's the problem. And what seal, what is that? That's the starter shaft seal. Starter shaft seal, okay. So essentially what's happening is you're riding or, or while your engine's running and everything's spinning around in here, it's just, it's just spewing out. It's just spewing out of here. Hmm. That makes total sense. There's a little damp line yeah. all the way down. It drips all the way down. Yep, just not in there. We put the new seal and we put it back together. We fucking ride it, you know? Hell yeah, dude. What are you doing that for? Just to clean everything up? Yeah, there was some extra sealant that was on the back side of that case there, and I like to get it all out of the way and not use any sealant at all. You think of everything, huh? <laughs> I've been doing it long enough to know all the things that go wrong. <laughs> That's why we're here. Let's shoot over here to the uh, non-American side part of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got Triumph today. <laughs> this is your personal bike too, right? Personal bobber, yep. What are you doing, a chain, uh, new chain? 
Yeah, new chain. So the chains come uh, 120 links. Ooh, dull. So, so we gotta cut them down. Now there's something special about this bike, right? That you did? Yeah, this bike's got a wide wheel kit on it. So we've got the, uh, the triple trees that are made here in New Jersey. And we're running a 160 millimeter front tire on it. This kit will allow us to go up to a 200, but the bike would be totally in the bottom. It looks badass though. 160. Yeah. What's with you always showing Mike nuts, man? He loves nuts. It's <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> I said yes. What you call nuts? Mouth full of cock. Mouth full of cock. joking, went on over there. Yeah, but we don't get uncomfortable about it. We just take it to the next level. This is why I like coming here, man. I get, you know, get my bike worked on and then I get a few laughs and uh, release some stress. There you go. Mike over here talks about butts and nuts. How did that thing go missing though? Like it just, it, or it was never put in? Or? Yeah, it was never put in. It wasn't in, it wasn't anywhere inside of that case. That's awesome. Okay. That's an affirmative sound. Oh, That's no. affirmative. We got left now to do the uh, fluids and that's it, cover it up, right? Uh, yeah, put the, put the fluid in there. Uh, I'm gonna readjust your, your clutch pack and cable. Uh, pull it down, I'm gonna tighten up your fairing. That's a little loose yet. And these screws here. And then you're good. So we got this wrinkled black derby cover right here as a replacement for the meantime. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, we got wrinkled black over here and the engine casing. Um, I want to find a really nice chromed out one later on. Here with some special engravement. If anybody out there knows anybody for that. You should get the one that says live to ride, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds absolutely amazing, man. Triumph Barber, that, that's his personal build right there. Yeah, we just want something else to the uh, the fairing right now because it was a little shaky, so Mike is gonna try to put some washers into the, the bracket.
I also have the uh, the brand new seat coming in within the next few weeks. Um, got a nice special seat done by La Para. Um, it's gonna be something to see because it's just, it's a it's a very unique seat at that. Let's just say that it's gonna be nice. I like it. The pair's got nice stuff. It's gonna be on fire. Nice little build there, sir. How's it running? Running good. Running yeah? Good. Gold chain looks sick on it, dude. Yeah. Fuck, cool though. Is this one gonna be for sale or you're keeping it? Um, for now I'm keeping it unless I get the right offer. You know, we're looking, it's probably a $20,000 build. 20K takes it, I'll build another one. American, the inline twin versus the V-twin. By little we're, we're getting this bike where it should be got parts coming in we're fixing things and <sighs> sounds beautiful yeah man little by little in a few months she uh for next summer she'll 100 percent be ready also one little thing we, we got this in the showroom now this norton here uh mike what year is this from 1969 <laughs> 1969 Norton that he just uh, recently picked up. This thing is beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. We'll hopefully get it back on the road next spring. Needs a little work. Then we got, I got my... his custom bike there, which you guys seen before at the um, at the uh, bike night at Brutz. This is a customer's bike. Beautiful. Uh, customer's bike or is that customer's yours? Bike. Customer's bike. And this is the old school, new school. 73Z1, 2019 Z900 RS. These are both his. This is the one that, that you won uh, the trophy on, right? Yeah, that's the original. What year is that? 73. And then we got this little crotch monster right here. Yeah, that's a uh, limited production Thruxton TFC. Made 750 in the world. It's a numbered bike. It's number 69 of 750. Number 69 of 750. Worldwide, you said? Yeah. No, that's a limited bike. I mean, only a few hundred make it to the US when you're doing that, because it's, you know, you see more Triumphs in Europe than you do here. Yeah. 